In the year 2255, space is finally conquered by humans, as transwarp technology makes it possible to reach distant stars. In the centuries to come, humans discover that they are not alone in the universe. Earth reaches out and a collaborative space fleet between the neighboring systems is founded. An age of peace and prosperity follows and space fleet thrives as its foundation. But all is not well in the galaxy. Far from Earth and space fleet borders, dark plans are taking shape. A distant organization known as the Union feels threatened by the rapid expansion of space fleet and in April the year 3000, 3383 they declare war. Soon thereafter, Space Fleet learns that the Union has launched its entire fleet towards Earth. Together with the fleet, they are bringing an entirely new weapon. The Sun Blaster. Designed to kill stars, it could end all life on Earth in the blink of an eye. Deep in the Utah desert, a new technology is secretly being developed. The Energy Disruptor Electropulse U Station, or simply Oedipus. Used at the right moment, Oedipus could disable the entire new armada and ensure an immediate and complete victory for Space Fleet. To work, Oedipus needs to be charged by an extremely sophisticated and powerful fuel cell. One of these cells takes years to craft and prepare. For safety and security reasons, they are only developed at the distant and secret deep space station Epsilon. The plan is formed to use the Epsilon station's experimental spacefold technology to transport all three existing fuel cells back to Earth. On Earth, Captain Thomas T. Wellmu is enjoying a vacation with his family. As a space fleet scientist specializing in spacefold technology, he is asked to participate in the transport mission of the fuel cell. Mission day. The elite of space fleet science is present orbiting Earth. Captain Velmu is tasked with analyzing the subspace anom anomaly gate as the crucial space for transport takes place. At first the transport seems to go as planned, but suddenly a flash of light So, und damit herzlich willkommen zu meinem Let's Play von The Captain. Äh, es ist blind, ich kenne hier nur die ersten 10 Minuten oder so. Habe ich mal Probeaufnahme gemacht. Ähm, und jetzt starten wir gleich rein. What? What happened? Chip? Ouch, my head. Chip, respond. Great, no power. Power Spike must have released the residual current circuit breaker again. Jeff! Jeff, do you hear me? Hm. Guess not. I will have to get back there and reset that main fuse. And why the hell am I so hungry? Leave the cockpit, use this button to highlight things. You can interact. Alles 
Tür durchgehen. Look around, drag in game view to pan camera, click or hold mouse button to work. So wir können hier umlaufen, wir können uns hier umschauen auf dem Schiff. Hier ist Security Door. This is a Class G Security Door. Stand clear when closing. Aufzug. That will not work without power. I must reset the circuit breaker. Yeah. Switch. It's the reset button to turn off the alarm. Den drücken. I need to get to the circuit breaker for this to work. Da hier. Zurück zum Labor. Hm, there is smoke coming from the door panel. My guess is this. My guess is that this door wouldn't open even with the power back on. So, pick up crowbar. In this introduction, you are guided to your next objective by a sparkling dot. Service droid panel is here now. Clean, open, repair. Elevator. Use the crowbar. Drag item outside inventory window and over point of interest to you. That's clear. This is repair. Repair access. You currently don't have the latest service droid update installed. Please contact your service. Not for a system wide update, alles klar. Heißt, das bringt nichts. Hier seht ihr schon. I need to get to the circuit break for the work, ja. Das wissen wir schon. Ähm, ist halt Pill haben wir auch noch dabei. Man weiß ja nie. The crowbar broke. Okay, das heißt, das haben wir nicht mehr. <coughs> okay, jetzt können wir jetzt da hoch. Okay, let's get this aging body up this elevator shaft. So, droid workstation. It's a worksta workstation made solely for droids. Here, bio chair. It's the latest space free technology in the field of artificial bioconnections. This machine can connect itself directly to the subject's brain and interact with it extremely fast. Okay. I don't really know why they installed one in my ship. Just been released, still considered to be somewhat experimental, okay? To be honest, I hope I never have to use it. I don't think I should mess around with this just for fun. Looks like something the Spanish Inquisition would use on heretics, okay. Hört sich auch nicht gut an. Um, Arcade, was ist das? Ah, the Vintage Collection Edition Cabinet of Floatball 3000. I love this game and I love the Space Fleet Command. Let me install it. The simplicity of its design never gets old, okay. Can we just play this? Yeah. So here's the circuit breaker. Jetzt haben wir wieder Strom. Startup initiated. Recollecting memory files. Stand by. Are you okay there, Shippy? I'm not sure. Sorry to have to ask, but what happened? I don't know really. We were about to witness the transport mission complete when we... Well, I must have fainted because I don't remember anything else. 
But your internal power grid shut down, so I had to do a manual reset. The last thing my sensors detected was frequency variation built up from the jump gate. Did we get the fuel cells? I don't know yet. Strange. All my systems seem to be down. I need to do a system by system restart. This may take some time. I really need Jeff now. He could help me do a recalibration of the mainframe. Sure, I haven't seen him though. Do you know where he is? I'm afraid not. My internal scanning system is non-operational. Try to contact Jeff directly with your bracelet. I will do that. So I summon off this bracelet. The bracelet is a communication device around your wrist. Use it to stay in contact with your ship and crew for input and ideas. Alles klar. So, dann funken wir mal den Jeff an. Jeff? Captain? Jeff, where are you? What is happening? I'm trapped inside the shuttle bay. With shuttle? No, what was that? Is that you, shuttle? I don't believe this. Jeff? Listen to me. Tell me exactly what he is doing. He keeps turning off the lights in here. And he continues to sound the hull breach alarm. Ah, what's that? Please, Captain, get me out of here. Shuttle, stop it. Please tell Shuttle to turn on the lights. Just wait there, little friend. Find Jeff. Jeff seems to be stuck in the shuttle bay. Find him. Alles klar. Engineering main. So, dann gehen wir mal runter. Ich ja noch nicht. Wir sehen hier, es blinkt. Das heißt, da ist wahrscheinlich dann der Jeff. Schauen, was wir hier machen können. Airlock Panel Caution. Do not lock Airlock Personnel inside. Ich glaube, da. Da spielen wir erstmal nicht dran rum. Oh nein, wir kümmern uns um den Chef. Hey Shuttle, could you open the door please? Is that you, Cap? Yes, Shuttle, it is me, your superior officer. Ah, superior? What door might you be referring to, if I may be so bold? The door to you, Shuttle. You have locked it from the inside, just open it, will you? Don't act stupid now. Well, in my case, it's an act at least. Shuttle, open. Easy there, Tiger. I am working on it. I was sure my hydraulics were acting up again. Well, it's about time to get rid of this little intruder in here anyway. But for future knowledge, I don't like your minions snooping around all over my bay cap. Your bay? Just open the door and let Jeff out. Open Sesame. Oh, da haben wir ihn doch. Oh, Captain, thank you. Shuttle wouldn't let me out. Well, he is a bit different. You should discipline him, Captain. I got really intimidated in there. Well, to be honest, Jeff, even though he shouldn't be teasing the crew, you are still a member of Space Fleet. Therefore, I won't could expect you to, naja, uh, how should I put this? Well, not to be afraid of the dark. I am not afraid of the dark, I'm afraid of what's in it. Okay, buddy, I'll talk to Shuttle later. I will try to be stronger in the future. That's good, now wipe off that hydraulic oil leakage and be proud of surviving yet another visit to the shuttle bay. I, ho oh, I overheard the ship is having problems with some of the systems. Yeah, we seem to have had an incident with the transport. We should get the ship back in shape before anything else. Okay. I need to get back to my workstation. Okay, I'll come with you.
Now, let's see. Hacking systems? Hmm. It looks like we have a short circuit in the lab. But that will have to wait for now. I have to stay here and finish recalibrating the ship. I can take care of the lab problem. Oh, okay, that would be great, Captain. Hmm, I guess the door to the lab isn't working. I'll just unlock the hatch to the maintenance, tu maintenance tunnels for you. <coughs> Thanks. No problem, good. I sent you the details to your info pad. Info pad, the info pad is a tablet used by Space Fleet personnel for keeping current tasks and mission briefings up to date. Fix short circuit on lab door, use service corridors to access the lab from above. That's clear. Info, my reminders. Ship status. Zero days since restart. This is a build from our ship, Space Fleet. Here's no more information. Ich werde es jetzt nicht alles durchlesen, außer vielleicht das hier. Chromium is a high energy and very expensive compound. It is used as the energy source in a lot of equipment and in almost all space fleet droids on star fragment. The popular name of the spectacular compound made from superheated chromium and hydrogen. It is very valuable due to its complex properties and broad spectrum of usability. That's clear. So, then... Let's go here and look at the lab. Let's see what we're doing. Think a sink where I can clean my lab, lab equipment after experiments. Fire alarm. Ship elevators will be shut down during fire. Use crawl spaces for shipboard access. Text tube rack. My test tubes. I can use these if I need to mix some compounds together. I'll just take one. Ah. Lab Tube, die konnten wir tatsächlich mitnehmen. Hier ist noch das Terminal. Recipes für Cyanomite, Pyrotile und Chromium. Storage. Antidote Base. Cubital Extract. Pregnant Powder. Or Acid, das nehmen wir einfach mal alles mit. Um, aber ich glaube, wir brauchen das jetzt noch nicht. Wir machen jetzt einfach mal die Tür hier auf. Okay, I think I found a problem to the conundrum. There are some disconnected cables behind the panel. This should be an easy fix. There, like making toast. The door should work now. Good job, Captain. The ship is in good condition again. Captain? Yes, ship? I've just finished analyzing our surroundings and I've got some really strange readings here. Could you please come to the cockpit right away? Of course, I'm on my way. So. Gehen wir doch mal ins Cockpit und sprechen mit dem Ship. Ship report. Captain, with the reservation that my sensors might have gone completely off the rail, something really unexpected has occurred. Tell me, we are no longer orbiting Earth. What? We are not even in the right sector. What do you mean? Where are we? My sensors tell me that we are currently in the outer regions. Outer regions? 
You mean where the transport originated from? Even further away. Somehow we must have entered the gateway as the transport took place. How is this even possible? Unclear. There must have been a vortex anomaly along the DEC-2 aligners or something uncalibrated. Captain, what is it, Chip? I am detecting a massive energy build-up from the wormhole. If you want to try to return through it, you should go as soon as possible. Mm. Yes, let's go through it right now. I am programmed to warn you, but this is an unknown procedure and there is no evidence that this will work. Understood. I guess in. What happened? The wormhole disappeared. We were too slow. But damn. Any signs of it reappearing? None. It's as if it was never there. And that is not all. The transport mission failed. None of the three fuel cells managed to reach Earth. How do you know that? My short range sensors can detect all three of them scattered around the sector. Oh my god. Earth defense requires at a minimum one of these cells to stop the sun blaster. Looks like we are out of options here. We need to grab at least one fuel cell ourselves and rush back to Earth before it's too late. Show me where your sensors picked up the lost fuel cells. Yes sir, stand by. The fuel cells are located on these three planetary bodies. Here. Ach, desert planet, here sind wir. Of Zoma. And of Creon Crystal. I believe our transport, transport mission just got updated to a salvage expedition. Any ideas on how to proceed? We are actually not that far from from space station Epsilon. The transport station that tried to send back the fuel cells? Yes, the very same. It's located over here. One logical action would be to investigate what went wrong during the transport mission. Okay. Tell me again about the space station. Show me where to find a fuel cell. Isn't there anything else I could do? Ich wollte sich halt noch mal. Isn't there anything else I could do? I've calculated all the known variables. I am unsuccessful in producing any any other viable option. Is how about asking for outside help? Space Fleet has no allies not already involved in the conflict. Perhaps I could pick up some technology and people ready to help on the way home. There's not enough evidence to support that random visits to surrounding civilizations would be helpful. Hope is little to do with evidence ship. Okay, I have marked all known civilizations. The map for you, thank you. Uh, here's the civilization, glory. Thank you. Okay, I think I know what to do now. Good to hear, sir. Let's get going. You have reached a new ending. Starting up. So it begins. So, dann machen wir hier einen Cut. Und dann geht es in der nächsten Folge weiter. Ähm, auf Wiedersehen und schaltet wieder ein. Bis dann.